Welcome back to World Drum Club. I'm Kalani, your host and teacher, and in this lesson I'll be showing you a very simple rhythm, kind of a cool rhythm, that was used in a song called Rocket, produced by Herbie Hancock back in the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, look it up, listen to it. It's a fun song. It's kind of a more of a techno song as opposed to some of his jazzier things, but um, it uses this kind of rhythm played on a bongo-like instrument. It's not played on a bongo, it's played on, a, on an aconcolo, which is a type of bata drum. This is an aconcolo, and I'll be showing you more about this, how to play it, what it sounds like on the World Drum Club Patreon site for my patrons. For now, for the YouTube part, I will show you guys the rhythm, and of course patrons get that too for being patrons of World Drum Club channel. So I'll break this rhythm down for you right now. Let's get right to it. So this is a four beat pattern. Pretty simple. What I like about this pattern is that you can leave your hands one on each drum. So right hand on the low drum, left hand on the high drum. And that's, it's very simple. So listen to it again. Here's our click at 95. A one, two, three, four. All right, so let's break it down. I think it's pretty simple. I think most of you can get this right away, but let's just analyze it really quick and I'll provide notation for all my patrons at the patron site. So first beat, boom, boom, one and. Second beat, two on the high drum. So one and two, three, four, three, Four. All right, you guys got that. Super easy. Beats three and four. Beat three. Three, four, one, two. So together, three and four sounds like this. One, two. So three E of four. Three E of four. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Three E of four. Okay, so let's put it together. A one, two, here you go. All right, with the click. Okay, so this rhythm works with lots of different types of grooves. Try it with uh, a beat or loop, um, not just a click, so you figure out how it relates to, for example, just a simple rock beat or more of a you know pop beat or something like that. Um, for those of you who are on the Patreon site, we're gonna continue this, and I'm gonna show you the Aconcolo and talk about the Bata drums just a little bit. So we'll continue. Those of you on YouTube, thanks for watching. I appreciate the thumbs up as always. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching. All right, those of you that are still here on the Patreon site, we're gonna continue this lesson on the rocket rhythm with the Okonkolo. And this is a type of bata drum, B-A-T-A. -A. You'll notice that it's got two heads, a large head and a small head, and it's kind of an hourglass shape. I've postulated, and I'm not sure about this, that the bata is a predecessor of the bongos. This drum is more of an African uh, design drum. It, in Africa, they typically have laced heads, so not what we call conga style lug tuning. And if you watch the video that I posted on the Japan Percussion Center, you can see about a minute or two into the video, I point out a set of African style bata drums that are in the traditional uh, construction. So I would also recommend you watching any videos on bata, especially the traditional versions, and you'll see that they have lacing. Usually they're actually wrapped up with cloth um, on fabric, so you really can't see how they're tuned, but that is how they are tuned. This one is more of a modern design. 
similar to bongo or conga construction. Also, this one is made from slats of wood. This was made by Jay Barrick of Skin on Skin Congas uh, from Brooklyn. I've had this since the mid-1990s. This is made of ash and um, cow skin heads. Okay, so here's what it sounds like. You usually place the bata in your lap. I know it's a little low in the picture, but um, I think you guys can all see this. I've got the low drum on my right, high drum on my left, and I'm just playing with my fingertips. It sounds like this. So if you listen to that original Rocket recording, the Herbie Hancock song, listen for this quality. It's a little different than the bongos, a little more resonant. It, it is a double-headed drum, so it's got that sort of resonance that comes from a drum with two heads as opposed to the bongos, which is a little more dry, shorter sound because of the single heads. All right, here it is again. And you notice you can play this with a little bit of swing, a little bit of feel. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Uh, as always, I really appreciate you guys being patrons of the site. I'll be uh, showing another video lesson at some point on the family of Bata drums. There are three drums that all play together. Uh, in the meantime, enjoy playing the rocket rhythm. Thanks for being a patron of World Drum Club.